See how that looks. That's not bad. All right, hey, uh, I'm Bill Anderson. This is my workshop. I'm going to show you what I do here. That was inspired by my friend Miles, and uh, I've been watching some of Jimmy Duresta's stuff on YouTube lately. This project's a tree branch shape bookshelf for my office. I started by iterating on branch shapes until I had one that felt natural and that would work for holding books with some horizontal surfaces. I transfer that paper design onto the full scale uh, using a quarter inch sheet of plywood. Getting the angles and the length right is very important here because a little error could end up in the whole thing just not looking right. I'm going to use this plywood later as the surface for the branch itself. I've already cut quarter and half inch plywood into seven inch strips. These will serve as the top and the bottom sides. Continuing, uh, that little piece is cut, shaped, all the angles right to connect to the next one. Got laid out on my pattern here. Now I'm going to glue this section of it together. Each branch segment is cut to a precise angle to match the design. I add scrap wood posts to increase the strength in the gluing surface. You can see the segments as I glue and nail them together. The really small angles you see at the tip of the branches were cut using a special jig at the table saw. All right, we're doing the last branch now. So I'm gonna lay it out on this board, get the dimensions more or less right, and then start constructing it. Uh, to start off with, we gotta figure out how large the end is and what angle it's at. Here's a little basic geometry work shouldn't be too hard for an engineer. I'm laying out the second branch at full scale on the plywood now. All right, the last branch is laid out, so now we're gonna build it. And start by making cuts on all the surface faces. Every angle in this project is different, so it took some work and concentration to get the cuts right. The second branch comes together in segments. See, I'm doing a little fine tuning with the hand plane here. And you can start to see the overall branch shape taking form here. This is the main branch that will hold the most books. Now that the branches are assembled, it's time to start the surface prep. I'm filling all the nail holes here. It's important to smooth the curves at the branch tips. It's a little bit more hand plane work here. All 
All right, now we start installing. When I say installing, I mean getting the French cleat mounting points marked on the wall. It's much easier to do this now before the branch face goes on. Each shelf has three quarter inch plywood supports built into it that line up with where the studs are on the wall. And each of these has a French cleat attached to it already that will mount onto a matching cleat in the wall. It's really tricky to get the mounting points exactly right because there's not a lot of clearance inside the branches. So next I mark the actual shelf shape on the quarter inch plywood that will serve as the surface face. I mark all the nailing points on it now because I won't be able to see them later when I glue it up. Then I cut it out with a jigsaw and uh, one of the pieces I cut out on a bandsaw. And once that's done, I glue and nail the surface onto the shelves using those marked nailing points for reference. The process of attaching the surfaces is repeated on all the branches. A little glue, a little nailing, and just adding on that end piece on the tip of the branch. You won't see that later. We're all set. And then it's on to surface prep, uh, filling and sanding all the holes on all the three exposed surfaces. You'll notice how the surface pieces were cut a little large. I'm going to use a router in a minute with a flush trimming bit to trim everything down to the final shape. So here I am with the router and the trimming bit. This is probably the most rewarding step of the whole build as I get to see the final shape finally uh, appearing. Here's some more surface prep. You might be surprised at how much time goes into a project like this. I probably put 24 hours into it already by this point. The sanding and sealing steps are just essential in getting a good looking finished product. I like to do this by hand as it gives me the best control. What you can see there is I'm using some shaped rubber sanding blocks uh, to round over the edges just right. It's too easy to take off too much if you try to use a power sander for stuff like that. Next, I'm priming everything with an oil-based primer on all three exposed surfaces. And then I'm going to sand it all down for a near-perfect surface. The sanding is absolutely the messiest part of this whole process. And finally, it'll be time to paint on the final color. Here's where all the planning comes together. The French cleats are already perfectly aligned and all I have to do is drop the shelf onto them. Every one aligns properly with a little gentle persuasion.
And that's it, start to finish. Tree branch bookshelf. Thanks for watching everyone. That's the first time I've actually recorded one of my projects, so uh, let me know what you think.